Well, as you've seen on the last couple of paintings, I've been varying the technique just slightly, sometimes fat on lean, sometimes uh, using pasto, sometimes um, using glazes, or a mixture of all. This time I'm going to work back with the flat brushes again, and um, then into some of the filberts later for the rounder shapes, but I want to work up all the darks first and finish with my lights at the end. Okay then, flats and filberts, I'm going to start with the filberts and work up all of my real lovely darks, which I am going to use some black this time, which I don't normally do, but this time I am going to mix some blue and black together, like almost a deep Prussian, and work some beautiful darks into this, which I'm going to work across to really make my lighter colours sing. So we're working a bit like uh, the opposite to watercolour. We're going to work from dark to light, but as a watercolour we work from light to dark. I don't need to worry about even to get some light in between unless I just want to know where my drawing is, just to give an idea in places. I always want to enjoy myself. And I need to, it's important for me to, to change the situation as I go along. Otherwise I'll get stale. I was always going to do a, a cafe scene now rather than this because uh, it does need to keep fresh. So I'm going to work all these darks in. Could almost have worked with a dark ground actually, couldn't I? I don't normally use black because it's very sooty and I certainly, do, looks, and I certainly don't use it for mixing. Um, good time to use up bits of heavy old paint as well because I can mix it in with my black to get an even richer, deeper dark colour. The lights can go on over the top, providing they've got heavy enough body, that's the point. If the acrylics are too thin or too cheap they won't work this way. It really does need a better quality acrylic. No problem with oils. Remember, we can work oils over acrylics, but we can't work acrylics over oils, or we shouldn't. Um, things can go wrong that way. Now, talking about colour, we'll start to add a bit of very deep green into this, and a bit of turquoise, and we'll build the background of this tree, the dark of the tree. We'll do that for all of this. So so see, I'm ready to just put lighter colours in over it. Not worried about the variety of colour yet, I just want to get a deeper background in to work my colours over. You see with water I tend to use mainly vertical strokes and then come back with the horizontals afterwards. This was monochrome at the moment, just a couple of colours. To on my way into this. Okay, leave that. Oh no, we'll do a bit of put the greens into the reflections down here as well. I'm going to work colours over the black to get some more vibrance. Some these purples and blues glowing through here. Using pure ultramarine at the moment. Prussian and we ultramarine here was going to soak back into it and uh, still be glowing, you know, so I still had this feeling of it climb through the, the dark. Let's build up the other colours, same way. Well, look at these darks here before I start putting the lights back into these trees, and we'll really get these beautiful dark areas working for me before I. Come in with the lighter colours over the top. Nice deep purple blue down this bit to work my colours over in a minute. To lose this white canvas as quickly as I can. So. Painter I'm very fond of. He's a nice guy as well as being a good painter. Hashim Akib. And uh, I love his way of working. And, these are strong pure colours that he slabs in, just like I'm doing now in a way. Uh, so let's have a bit of fun using these lights over darks as he does to build this painting up fairly quickly and get lovely pure colours at the same time. So we use all these white areas very quickly, get some pure colour in, all the darks in before we 
really start to work the lights in. You see how rapid the thread working is. I want to get in some background colours over here. Just, just to get the, the canvas covered really at the moment. Work pure colours in later. Let's just get my lights and darks worked out. We can start to work the lights over the darks. Just Start to find and highlight things. There oh, they are. flat brush now, used our big filbert, and we'll start working out some of these beautiful darks. these colors. You've got to get a look for them and the photography helps but it takes a lot of working out. I'm playing opposites in the color circle like greens and reds, purples and yellows you see. Coming down here, be able to push these subtleties of different colors.
Well, I'm a lot more pleased with this one. Stronger colours, deeper tones, richer. If I continue with this vein, I think I'm progressing a bit. At last! Anyway, probably from this one now, I'm going into doing another uh, cafe street scene to keep myself fresh, to keep myself going in other ways. Then I'll come back to these and hit these much deeper tones again and richer colours.